Northern Cali born and raised, real shark about that tank. We go hard to blend the paint and spin them blocks, they said we can't. Talking all that tough shit, don't end up in a casket. Clock up on my hip, be the only thing that's plastic. Hit him in the belly, I guarantee that boy gon' fall. It don't matter who you body, you still a ratchet. What's cracking with the hint on YouTube, man? Thank you guys for tapping back in, showing love, showing support, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way in. Leave a comment down under. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as you guys can see through the title and the thumbnail, man, today's topic, prison politics. And before I even get into the video, man, this is not no shots being taken at anyone in particular. Because everybody has their own lane on YouTube. Everybody does their own thing. Everybody has their own style of doing things. Whether it's humor, whether it's being serious, whether it's having a message. Everybody has their own lane. My lane, I like to keep it to myself. I don't speak for anybody. Sometimes I will, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll throw in a couple things that are not from me. But for the most part, I'm speaking for myself. Or I'll have people tap in and uh, share their stories through me. Because obviously they don't want to put themselves out there. Or they just don't want, they're just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if they're too shy or I don't know what it is. But they, they want to tell their stories through me, and I'm, I'm fine with it. You know what I'm saying? I got no problem with it, but I am going to let it be known that, you know what? It's no disrespect to anybody that is involved in these stories. I'm just giving them how I hear them. Um, and it may not always be 100% factual, but for the most part, I try to double check, fact check. And uh, so, yeah. So the reason I don't speak on prison politics, um, I would say the main reason would be if I can't speak on it, completely if i can't speak on it in full i'm not gonna touch on it i already got hit up once for a video i did um it was i can't remember what, what it was called but it was ba basically about the end of hostilities on the streets um i made the video i thought it was cool had a cool message to it and in a matter of like i don't know like i don't know like maybe five hours six hours i got a phone call and was like you got to take that down. I was like, all right, my bad. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. And and, and, and here's the thing, right? There's a way because I've gotten hit up to take videos down before. But it's the way you come at people that, uh, you know what I'm saying? That makes them want to do things. If you hit me up like, hey, you have to do this. I'm like, nah, I'm good. But if you tell me, you know what? That's not a good idea. Take it down. You know what I'm saying? Some knowledge. All right, cool. I'll take it down. It is what it is. You know what I mean? I'll check it up as a loss. <clears throat> Two. Because um, I just think since I haven't been to prison, I have no say-so on that. I'll leave that up for the people who have been there and lived through the politics. Because I understand there are people that went to prison and didn't have didn't, they didn't politic. And I feel like the ones that were politicking are the ones that have the right to speak on it. And even then, maybe not so much. But that's on them. That's their choice. Three, um... I mean, simply, I just don't think it's a smart thing for me to do, being that I still live in my city. You know, I'm still in my area. I still walk through my area. I still go to the stores in my area. I still show face in my area, even though I don't show face on YouTube. But everybody knows who I am, um, which is, you know, saying the biggest reason as to why I don't I wouldn't put myself in that predicament. But don't get me wrong. That is a big cheat code for YouTube. A lot of people are infatuated and they enamor the uh, the thought of prison. For whatever reason, people are in love with hearing what happens behind those walls, especially the ones that aren't a part of the life, whether they were just on a street level like I was or just completely not a part of the life and are interested to know why, how, what, who, all those things. Um, there's, there's a big percentage of people that just love to hear about that stuff. And, hey, you know what I mean? It's, it's entertaining. Don't get me wrong. Even I'm entertained at times by certain stories, certain uh, certain things that are said. You know? It's entertaining at times. But there's a, there's a line that shouldn't be crossed between entertainment and just putting too much out there. And uh, I think that's where I kind of draw the line is like, okay, entertainment to me is I'll tell, I'll tell a story about myself or some somebody reached out for me to tell their story or just like I like uh, when I read cases closed cases because I won't read open ones closed cases things like that where I'm not putting anybody in any type of predicaments where uh, it's just basically it's my channel speaking for me and anybody who wants me to speak for them because I've already said before I don't speak for anybody but myself but yes prison politics on YouTube is a big cheat code 
you will get a lot of views you will get a lot of subscribers fast if you speak on prison politics only thing is uh i just don't think it's worth it i don't think it's worth living in fear and i'm not saying that anybody that speaks on politics is living in fear but there is one or two on the genre that they speak on it for the numbers to get paid but they live in fear and i know i know everybody that's watching this for the most part i mean not everybody knows who i'm talking about there's dudes that live you know what i'm saying out of state out in out in uh you know what i'm saying way up north in the north pole that speak on things that they have nothing nothing to say that uh they can say that they lived or that they were a part of without it being lies or that they knew everybody you know what i'm saying everybody knows what i'm talking about i'm not gonna say no names though but uh you know what i'm saying that's just that's not how i want to live my life i don't want to live my life in fear i don't want to i don't want to go to the to the market and be like, oh man, that guy looked at me for a little too long. He knows who I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just not what I want to do. It's not how I want to live. So those are the the I guess the main reasons why I don't speak on prison politics. And truth be told, I probably will never speak on them. Because I was always taught from the very beginning, when you hear anything, any of those names, any uh any organization, whatever the case may be, you just simply um, they didn't exist. They weren't supposed to exist. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. Now, again, this is not shots to any content creators because I'm sure the content creators that speak on these things, they're ready for the repercussions of what comes of what they speak on. Or they just simply don't care. And that's fine. But again, there's others that are scared shitless. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? Those are the ones that is like, bro, if you're not in it all the way, just don't speak on it. And, and and leave it at that but like i said there there's just things that i myself won't do because i won't even speak on certain things in my personal life when i hear conversations being had about certain things i'll remove myself from the conversation because i know i shouldn't know about these things i know i shouldn't be uh i have no no horse in that race so that's uh my answer to the subscribers that that have reached out to me and they tell me, you know what, um, you can make your channel grow fast if you were to just speak on these things. And and don't get me wrong, I thought about it and I was like, damn, I do see that there are certain channels that are growing and hey, much love to them. You know what I'm saying? I hope that their channels keep blowing up. They keep growing at a fast pace. Um, they get paid, all that stuff. I'm not hitting on nobody. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? That's like I said, everybody has their own lane on YouTube and that's just it is what it is this is my lane though my lane i'm gonna speak on uh personal things because this is i didn't start this channel to speak on prison politics i didn't start this channel to speak on 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 how the homies are looked at in prison or nothing like that my channel was more based on i would i would see videos from certain youtubers where they would speak on upstaters and kind of clown about it they would they would they would joke a little too much on the topic about you know what i'm saying upstaters and i didn't like it so i was like you know what i'm gonna make this channel i'm gonna speak my mind and whoever mentions upstaters i'm gonna respond to it and i'm gonna let them know you know what it's not this it's that or if it is that this is why things like that this wasn't a channel made to make myself or anybody look tough or hard or anything because everybody knows i downplay this channel so much i do not play the part of being hard or anything like that. I don't claim that I'm this badass shooter that, you know what I'm saying? I don't do none of that stuff. I don't I don't have to try and sound um I don't have to try and I don't have to try and and make myself up to be something on YouTube to people that I don't know. Now, will I get my clown on? Will I will I do my thug thizzle and talk my shit sometimes? Of course. Of course I'm going to do that. That's the point of having this channel. Like I said, I'm very respectful and I keep it very respectful on this channel to everybody. It doesn't matter who you are, what you did, where you did it, as long as you're not a weirdo, obviously. I've always said that. But yeah, man, I uh I do appreciate every single one of my subscribers that taps in, that shows love. Even the haters that that, you know what I'm saying, that talk in the comments and you know what I'm saying? It's all good. I don't mind it. I appreciate all of it. I didn't even think I didn't even think this channel was gonna grow as big as it is. I know it's a very small channel, don't get me wrong. Don't don't think that I'm trying to sound like uh I'm a million dollar move guy, but I'm just saying I didn't think I was gonna get the love I was I was uh, that I that I do get. So I appreciate all of it, 
And um, I appreciate everybody who still rocks with me, even though I don't get into those topics. And uh, yeah, man, so I'm going to keep doing what I do. I'm going to keep doing my regular content. Nothing's going to change as far as I know. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, I might do a little thing here or there, but nothing too crazy. Don't expect nothing crazy. But yeah, man, that's all I really got to say on this topic. Um, oh, and I hope you guys like that new intro. You know what I mean? I like it. I hope you guys did too. But yeah, that's all I got to say for the day. It's a short video. Again, like I said, still rusty. Give me some time. But yeah, man, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down under. Blah, blah, blah. Leave a comment down under. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as I always say, the goal is to make it out the hood and not stay in it. And I'm out.